That's right. One of the areas that's going to see a little bit more, of course, is up in the higher elevations. We've got Ian Schwartz out at Lowell this morning, observatory. How cool is it from that view? Ian, good morning. Hey, good morning. Wow, this is really cool. We're getting a lot of cheers from all the people here. That's because we've had a lot of cloud cover, and right as this thing has peaked, there's been a break in the clouds, and people are clapping, and they've been excited about it. Let's take Todd's shot, and I'll show you what view we're seeing right now. Uh, it looks pretty neat. We are seeing a nice shot. Um, the clouds peeling back just enough for us to get a good view of this thing as it's about 70% uh, coverage over the sun. And there are lots of people here. We are talking uh, thousands, a few thousand probably. Haven't got the actual numbers yet, but look at all these folks. I think there's going to be a few neck cramps probably by the time this is all said and done. All these people staring up trying to get a good view of this thing. And uh, it was funny. When when it started to pull over, you could see a noticeable, noticeable dip in the sunshine uh, over Lowell here. But you have all these people hanging out, their necks kind of craned to the sky, trying to get a good view of this eclipse. And it's not just uh, the eclipse people can experience here. We have uh, these special viewers, uh, everyone you're looking at right now, they're lined up to get a really up close shot of these custom viewers that uh, Lowell's provided. And they can get a nice zoomed in view, almost kind of what our camera was just showing you there uh, not long ago. So lots of people here, food trucks, there are presentations, there are demonstrations, a lot of the um, uh, astronomers, professional astronomers here, astronomers on campus, they're giving speeches. So uh, more than just uh, activity in the sky, plenty to do on the ground as well here in Lowell and plenty going on with you as well, Kylie.